What's up, good people? Jojana here. How are y'all doing? Welcome to the show. You know what we do here. This is the place where we talk about life lessons learned from K-dramas, Nollywood movies, and Black films. Because you know what? Sometimes life does imitate art or art does imitate life. Which one is it? Let me know in the comments below. But first, guys, have you subscribed yet to this channel? What are you waiting for? for if you already subscribed i thank you so so much if you're not go ahead hit that subscription button because you know what it is totally free and i will appreciate you forever for doing that but for now let's go ahead and get into this video let's talk about love sex and can 30 candles and getting over betrayal because you're dead to me <laughs> so guys let's get into love sex and 30 candles the general rundown it is a 2023 romance drama and it is on netflix the general synopsis says in the year they all turn 30 four best friends navigate relationships heartbreak and a shocking development that threatens to tear them apart it is South African based, so not Nollywood. It stars Candice Madesel. I'm sorry if I'm ruining her name. Lunga Shabella. Those are the, the top two that are listed. But it is a very, very interesting movie on, like it said, friendships and the challenges that they all face together. But what really, what I want to focus on today is that out of this two friendships, one best friend sleeps with another best friend's boyfriend. And the thing is that that best friend that has the boyfriend, her name's Keddy. And then the one that's sleeping with Keddy's boyfriend, her character's name's Nawazi and so Nawazi has a night one night stand with Keddie's boyfriend. Keddie has a daughter with that boyfriend and he's not committing to her and they've been doing this for 10 years and all her best friend including Nawazi have been telling her to give him up and move on. So it is very interesting, right, that this best friend, Nawazi, decides to sleep with Keddie's jerk of a boyfriend, right, which they all agree that he is. And she, and it is a one night stand because they're both drunk. Guys, is it okay? <laughs> is it okay? Is it a good reason? Like, is it justified? that they're both drunk and so it's okay what i've always thought or what i've read is that alcohol brings out who we really are so is it that then she's always wanted to be with Keddie's boyfriend because a one night stand what it created now was that Noazi got pregnant for Keddie's boyfriend. And so you can imagine watching the movie that eventually that truth came out and it broke Keddie's heart, right? Because that's a big betrayal, right? On both parts. Like, yes, her partner, but he's a jerk. And not that that's an excuse, but it's like, my best friend has done this to me and has kept this from me, right? What could she have done differently is what we're going to talk about and getting to that place of forgiveness, right? Because it was really hard for Keddy, even though I feel like they kind of rushed over that quickly because it is a movie and I don't think in real life it would be that easy it was a month, right, of them not talking and then Keddie rationalized it 
and said that she's known Nawazi before she knew the guy. Yes, granted, he'll always be a jerk. But I feel like for a friend to do that and not tell you afterwards, because yes, you you know, it's going to hurt. But it's that now you're pregnant. It's like it would have hurt more. So my take is getting over betrayal because you would be dead to me, right? Like, let's keep it real. Like, you would be dead to me. Both of them are dead to me. The guy, the friend, like, you're dead to me. So for us not to be those people <laughs> that, that you know, are like, we're done, we're never going to be friends, but because we are people of faith, we have to operate in in forgiveness right so if you found yourself in a situation where you have betrayed your friend no matter what that looks like own up to it immediately that's the first step to be able to heal if you are the person that has caused this pain to your friend own up to it immediately don't let it fester don't let it go on say I did this I am sorry I didn't mean to hurt you but I know I have hurt you like own up to it if you are that person if you have found yourself in a position where you have betrayed your friend don't let time pass by because then it just looks bad. It just makes it worse. I cannot emphasize what time does to you owning up. It might, it will be hard, yes. It'll be the toughest thing you ever have had to say. That friend, I have betrayed you. I did this. I did that. But the sooner you take that band-aid off, the better it is going to help you, both of you, heal if there is any chance of healing because then it's not coming from a place of being malicious. Okay, so that's one. And then two, for you that you have been betrayed, you have been hurt, acknowledge that you have been hurt. Be angry. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to feel that betrayal, right? For as long as you want, right? It is okay because it hurt because this is someone you've trusted and they've been best friends like since college forever and they were all turning 30. So over 10 years they've been friends. And for her to do that to her and not tell her that this occurred, not even that the act, about the act, but the fact that the act occurred, she had to allow herself to be angry, allow yourself that opportunity. Yes, because if you don't, if you just like, I'm done, it's like, it's, it's grieving, right? It, it's all that grieving process that you have to go through. Okay, and you that have hurt that friend, allow that friend to be upset. Allow that friend to be angry. Allow that friend to not call you or talk to you because they need that time to process what's happened. Give them that space. Don't rush them. Give them that space. They need that time. And then I would say, Thirdly, do not blame yourself for it. It had nothing to do with you. Do not blame yourself for the betrayal. Do not think, what could I have done differently? It is not your fault. There's nothing you could have done differently. So don't start to blame yourself. Don't start to think you were not a good friend. Because you are a great friend. Do not question who you are as a friend. And you did not deserve this betrayal. Okay? And then, ah, there's forgiveness. 
you have to decide. I think it is important to forgive and it is important to forget. But it is also important to know that you do not have to stay friends with that person. Now in this movie, she decided to stay friends with her because she had always known her, I suppose. And they literally would, (laughs) they now, her daughter is now sisters with her daughter, you know, half sisters. So I, I, I get it, but you don't have to stay friends with this person. Don't think that you owe that. You don't. You can forgive and move forward and not have to be friends. That is completely up to you. And there are so many factors that go into deciding that. But my thing is that you can forgive. And it is important to forgive because Christ forgives us our sins. But you don't have to stay friends with that person. You don't have to be, you know, in. you don't have to continue in the path that you started. I think for me, I would always see that person differently, you know. But I will forgive, but I don't know that I would, that our friendship would be the same, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And it's okay that your friendship is not the same. But if you have been betrayed, I want you to know that you can and you will get through it. And that you are not alone and you can heal through this. And it's not your fault. I would definitely recommend Love, Sex, and and 30 Candles. It's a lot happening at the same time. It's also, it was slow moving, but we finally got into it. And I would definitely recommend that you watch it for your own. And, you know, let me know what life lessons you got from it. Before I leave you, you know how I do. Let me encourage you with... A scripture and it's from Colossians 3 verse 13 which says bearing with one another and forgiving one another if anyone has a complaint against another even as Christ forgave you so you also must do forgiveness is important it's not over exaggerated because I know I have to forgive myself for certain for a lot of things And so if I'm able to forgive myself, then I can forgive other people. You need time to forgive people. Don't rush that process, but you can forgive other people. Give yourself the time to do it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, take care of yourself. And remember, put comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are after watching Love, Sex, and 30 Candles. What life lessons did you get from it? And yeah, subscribe if you are not already subscribed. But above all, guys, like this video, share this video. But thank you so much, so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.